got you pumped, strap in because we are going to show how you can run LTX2 on the free tier of Google Colab. You're going to want to go to the GitHub repo linked in the video description and then click on opening Colab. Then go to the runtime tab, then change runtime type to make sure you have a T4 GPU. Click save and then click run all. Click run anyway and let it fly. So it's going to set up the correct directories and then it's going to download the most recent version of WANGP. We're going to be using WANGP to run LTX2 because it really optimizes being able to run these models with low memory, which we are limited to on the free tier of Google Colab. And it gives us a nice Gradio web UI to run LTX2 and other models all in the same UI. Installing the dependencies will take a few minutes, so be patient with that. And when it's done, it will kick off WANGP with Profile 5. And that is what keeps the VRAM requirements low, it will also mean that video generation will be slow. So we fit the RAM and VRAM into the resources we have on the free tier of Google Colab, but the trade-off is the generations will take some time and we can't go crazy with the duration of the videos or the resolution of the videos that we want to create. Once WANGP is ready, you will see this clickable link. You want to click on the second one on the bottom there. This will take you to a browser tab with one GPU running. We are going to click on the LTX2 model in that dropdown. And then instead of default, we want the distilled version. That will run faster and keep us in lower VRAM RAM territory. The creator of WANGP has added this nice feature where you can generate the video based on your own soundtrack. But for this test, we are just going to use a text prompt or even just going to keep the default prompt that is in WANGP already for the LTX2 model. Prompting this model is a bit of an art form right now. It likes really long prompts if you're not giving it an image or any other guidance. So I've actually created an AI agent skill to help write these prompts and I'll link to that if helpful. And I will also link to the LTX2 team's prompting guide if you want to review that as well. We are going to set the resolution at 480p. It's very important you keep the resolution low here so that we don't run out of memory. You can set the dimensions to whichever way you want. I'm going to do a 16 by 9 video and then we are going to reduce the duration to 121 frames or 5 seconds. If you go higher, you are going to likely run out of memory. I'm going to show you a tweak you can make that I was able to use to get 10 seconds generated in one shot, but with just the profile five as it is now, you have to reduce it down to five seconds. And we kept everything else at the default and clicked generate. Note that on the first time you run a generation, it has to download the model and the model is quite large. While the generation is progressing, you can always go into the Colab notebook and see the resource utilization. So you can see if things are actually happening and if you're getting into a danger zone and you can see the logs there. So you, error messages might appear if an issue is happening. And when the video is ready, it will appear in the WANGP repo outputs directory. So if your web UI ever glitches, you can just download it directly from Colab. And the downloading of the model and the generation took 43 minutes and 20 seconds. This is what it looks like. That's it. Dad's lost it. And we've lost Dad. Stop being so dramatic, Jess. He's just having fun. And here's another version with the exact same settings, different seed. That completed quicker. That's it. Dad's lost it. And we've lost Dad. Stop being so dramatic, Jess. He's just having fun. Whee! To show you where you can download your video from Colab versus in the Gradio UI, back over in the File Explorer, there will now be a outputs directory and in there we see our video and you can download from there. If you want to try to push it even further, I have one further tip. You want to go to the running WANGP in Colab and hit stop and then you are going to add right onto profile 5, you're going to add VAE-config4 just like that and then preload and then set that to zero. And you want it to be all in quotes exactly like that. And then you click play or start again on that cell and it will relaunch one GP. And with that change, I was able to generate 10 second videos without running out of memory. This 10 second version took 42 minutes to generate. And the only change from the generation before is it's 241 frames. And the model was already downloaded. So it did not have to spend time downloading the model. That's it. Dad's lost it. And we've lost dad. Stop being so dramatic, Jess. 
He's just having fun. I hope you have that much fun playing with LTX2. Thanks for watching.